No, oh, no, it's number three and not number two. Yes, please close. And as you can see, there's a lot of scatter in these groups, and you will have some overlapping of the both features. But maybe the um, combination three to four. Oh no, that's five to six. Um, yeah, five to six. You don't you don't have that kind of good representation of both areas. So and you have these areas, and you will find an overlapping region for both classes. No thanks. Okay, and we will also mask them in the old feature space. So over here, you can also see that these both uh, classes have a big overlapping region and you cannot differentiate between these two classes quite nicely. Uh, and um, keeping that in mind, you will have to concentrate on the uh, solutions for classes with urban areas and f agricultural fields. So you can check, uh, or you can, if you're if you're doing a lot of areas of interest, you should probably save your regions like file save AOI layer as, and you can you can you can save your areas of interest, and you should probably save your signature file. So save as signature file. Now um, uh, I've just prepared some uh, uh, signature files using no, um, using a lot of AI. So I've, uh, I will just come on delete layer and I will no, I will Open a new AOI. Console, please. File, open, AOI layer. And as you can see, I've created uh, several types of classes. So a very dense or dense urban area. These are these two. Then I have something like an urban area over here and here and here and also here and I've created something like a suburban area with a lot of vegetation and a lot of scatter in the feature space so you will have some kind of streets and uh, greenish parts here and this is a very big AOI and as you can see in the whole scene uh, my AOIs are covered all over the scene so I have a lot of AOIs over here here are some fields and some grasslands and some forests I've also created. And using this AOI layer and the corresponding signature set, you can probably go uh, by classify supervised using this dialog, or you can also use the classifier supervised classification. And keeping that in mind, let's uh, there we go. Um, just looking on this both, they are quite similar to each other. So you will have your on the on the dialog uh, using the classifier. You will have the input raster file and the input signature file as some options. You don't find them in this uh, dialog because it's already open to you using the signature file. So you don't have to um, choose your signature file anymore and the signature file uh, is corresponding to the Landsat scene or the input raster file so we don't have to use these two options anymore so we will um, we will, we will um, give you a new name for the raster so the output file should be um, tiff file maybe we go. and we will create um, Supervised classification using eight classes. Okay, and we will not um, go with the output distance file, but we will concentrate on the decisions rules. And as I have said, there are parametric rules and non parametric rules. As a parametric rule, you can differentiate between maximum likelihood, so the probability that a feature belongs to a, to a special class um, 
is used or you can use minimum distance so the probability is not always the same like the minimum distance so um, this will will change the class numbers regarding to their minimum distance to the next center belonging to the signature file here over here so if, if, if there's a pixel very near to forest it will be attached to the file to the to the class and once again supervised classification they are also non-parametric rules so you can therefore uh, decide whether your um, signatures files are containing some parallel pipe features like I've shown you in the presentation with these boxes or you can use um, feature space, no, a feature space non-parametric rule and um, by changing this you will uh, you can use the overlapping rule um, as um, using a parametric rule that will use the rule you will you will um, choose over here so if there's an overlapping of classes you can choose the maximum likelihood or the minimum distance you can classify by the order of the signatures because sometimes you are you are starting with the most significant um, signatures and you um, the suburban maybe doesn't in isn't interesting anymore and you can also leave this pixel unclassified the unclassified rule means that you probably have regions in your feature space where no signature file is covering this region and therefore you can leave the um, the uh, pixel unclassified or you can also use the parametric rule but we will now leave it like non parametric rule so we just using the um, maximum likelihood classifier in this case we will not classify zeros and we will not use probabilities and therefore we will go this is taking some time now but I think we are nearly finished now now it's closing the layer so now we are done and we can open this um, Supervised classification results in the in the view, and just to show you the um, results. So our uh, our water areas are covering also water, but as you can see, there's one class um, here. It's probably class number five and this is a field type fields and dense urban 